Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the point movement within the dynamic blocks within AutoCAD. This is going to be a pretty basic video and what this is going to show you is how to move specific points within a dynamic block. Should not be too long of a lesson, it's actually the first lesson I'm creating on dynamic blocks, so look out for a couple more lessons to come out within the dynamic block settings. But with that being said, let's get into the video and let's show you how to do this. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you want to see something else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section. And if you think this video could help someone, give it a share as well. All right, so let's get started with the lesson. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to bring in the block we're going to use for the lesson. And this is going to be an example of the, a door. So we're going to come up here to our block box. We're going to click on the insert button. And we're going to click the only block that's available, which is door. I'm going to bring it down here and kind of just show you guys a visualization of what this looks like. So you have the door right here, you have the wall that it's attached to, and you have the swing out position, which is that arc. And this is typically what a door looks like in a CAD drawing. If you want to see how to make a block or how I made this block, I'll link a video up above. You can check that video out. But this already assumes we have the block made. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to delete this from the drawing just because we don't need it right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to the block box again, but instead of clicking insert, we're going to left click on edit. We're going to see this box drop down and we're going to click the only block that is available, which is door again, the one we just opened and we're going to click OK. All right, so once this screen pops up, the first thing I'm going to do just because it's a pet peeve of mine is you'll notice right down in here, you have the X, Y plane coordinate. We're going to move that off of that just so it just doesn't get in the way. And to move stuff in the block editor, you just move it like you would in regular AutoCAD. But this is going to be the block editor screen. You see it's going to have this lighter gray background. And then to the left hand, you're going to see this box with a couple different options. These options include what we have parameters. So you have point, linear, polar, X, Y, rotation. We're going to be going with point today. You have our actions, which are move, scale, stretch, polar stretch, rotate, flip. And then you have your parameter sets, which kind of combines the parameters plus the actions. And it creates just kind of a quick key to do something or make a change to a dynamic block that you would like to. So for this example, we are going to be using the point move. Now, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to move this door with inside this wall. So here, this rectangle right here is what the wall is. And we don't want the wall to move, but we want to be able to adjust the door to the right or left. Again, this is kind of a real world example of maybe using a dynamic block. Say you're putting a bunch of doors in, but you don't know where the doors specifically are. This is how you're going to want to do it. So we're going to come up to point move. We're going to left hand click. And then the first thing it's going to give us is specify parameter location. We want to take the bottom edge of the door. So we're going to left click here, bring that all the way down to this side. And it's going to say position one. Now you'll notice here, that there's this little box that's kind of um, dull or in a, the background, we are going to right click on that and it's going to open up this little selection box. We're gonna go down to the second one where it says action selection set. Then we're gonna say new selection. Once we have the new selection, we are going to select the objects that we want to move. So we wanna move this, 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 selection sorry this 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 and this once you've selected all the objects actually let's get up here to make sure we have everything once you've selected all of the objects you want to be able to move so again these are the objects that we want to move the rectangular wall is what we want to stay stationary you're going to click enter and there you go now we come up here to the close block editor going to click that. It's going to ask us if we want to save the changes. You definitely want to click save the changes. And now when you come to this screen, we're going to insert this block right here again, the door block. We're going to come down. Let's insert that. And then when I click on it, I'm going to left hand click. You're going to see this little point right here, this little pick box point. And this will actually let you move the door side to side. So you'll see right here, I can now move the door within this block wherever I want to within the wall. 
Now, I can also move it outside the wall if I want to. Say I want the wall to be plain. We're going to move that back in. But again, this allows you to move the door side to side, where, again, I can also bring a new block in, and it's going to be a little bit different. I can do that with as many blocks as I want to that are associated with this door block. All right, so let's say you want to go back in, and you maybe want a couple different objects within the door to not move, and you want them to stay where they're at in the block. You can easily change that as well. Just go back up to the Edit button up here in the block box. We're going to click on it, click the door, click OK, and then you can come back down here to that little dull box. We're going to right-hand click and click the Action Selection button, and instead of New Selection Set, we're just going to modify it. And what you're going to see here is this little pick box, and it's going to have the little drop-down arrow. You're going to want to click the arrow on your keyboard, click down, and then you go, it's going to show you a selection box that says remove. We're going to click remove. And let's just say we actually don't want these pieces to be in there or be movable. We're going to select them all, then click enter. And then we are going to close the block editor. Again, we want to save the changes to the door. And now when I pull this up, we're going to pull the door. As you can see here, the door is the only thing that moves, not the pieces within the wall. All right, so the last thing we're going to quickly go over is say you don't want the dynamic functions inside of your block anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to erase that real quick. So we're going to come back up here into the edit function in the block box. We're going to left hand click. We are going to click on the door. And as you can see here, within that little preview window, you'll be able to tell with this little lightning bolt character sign that it still has the dynamic uh, block inputs in it. So we're going to click OK. What we're going to do here is we're going to come, we're going to right hand click, we're going to come up to the delete button, and then we are going to press escape. The other thing we're going to do here is we are going to left hand click the position line, we're going to then right click, click erase, and then we're going to close the block editor, save the changes to the door. We are now going to insert the door, and as you can see here, we cannot move the door anymore. There's no grips to go on the door and slide it back and forth. You'll also be able to see when you click edit and click on the door that that lightning bolt symbol has also disappeared. This means that the dynamic block is no longer a dynamic block and it is just a regular block. All right, that's going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support with the past couple of videos, past couple of months. It does not go unnoticed. I truly appreciate it. With that being said, be on the lookout for a couple more AutoCAD videos coming out soon, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.